Hello everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to Nebra. If you don't know what Nebra is, it's one of the moons of Tidos, and Tidos represents Jupiter, basically. So here you can see we launched, just opened up this stage, or not opened up, but detached those solid boosters. Got in orbit with the sun right here. Targeted Tidos. Got on an encounter. I tried to get the closest encounter I could just to save Delta V. So here we are doing our burn. This is kind of a slow burn, but we ended up making it. There we go, had the stage right there. And there we go. <coughs> so now I'm just trying to get in orbit with Tidos. This was a long burn to do right here. Just, it used a lot of Delta V. Here I was trying to just mess around with different ways to get an encounter with Nebra, just to save some more Delta V and everything. There I was doing inclination change just to match with Nebra's orbit. And then I ended up not doing that actually. I was just messing around with different ways to get on an encounter. This took kind of a while to get. Here's a little teaser. Next video, we're also going to the Tidos system, or not, I guess not system, but we're going back here for next episode, or er, video, whatever. Then we got in orbit with Nebra, finally, when we got an encounter. Also, in my future videos, I'm going to include building the rocket so you guys can see that I had multiple burn set up, so I was, or burn nodes set up, so I was just adjusting, selecting which one of those I was doing, performed the burn, and then we time warp to our next one, that one's complete. And it wasn't the most accurate burn, so I had to redo the next node. Trying to figure out how I got that encounter the first time. But eventually, we did. But I couldn't get the exact same encounter, so I ended up just deleting that old maneuver node or burn node or whatever you want to call it. Got a whole new encounter. As you can see, it made my orbit all over the place. There's like 80 orbit lines right there. So, just time warped. It says right here that we're on a collision course with Nebra, but I actually never did collide with it. Um, and then it took a lot of Delta V to get into um, a collision course with Nebra. Hmm. 
ran out of fuel, had to <clears throat> stage. Had to load some quick saves because I just barely had enough fuel for this. It took a few tries actually. I'm glad I got quick saves in. So there's the base, you can see it. But then loaded back my quick save. Tried to burn yet another time. Oh, just kidding. Actually, right here, I tried to do it without the burn node. Just thinking maybe I could do it myself. And I was able to, sort of. That first stage got me close. And then I was able to get the encounter this time with enough fuel. Then I staged and got ready to encounter the plant, or er, like ascend to the planet you can see i was looking at them there's some volcanoes that you can see just some glowing yellow dots so i know i put too many shoots on here but there's the first set of drogue shoots i just wanted to play it safe since i've never gone here before there's the second set of drogue shoots they're deployed now This part was pretty slow. I had to speed it up quite a bit. There's the next set of drogue shoots. Got those lights on so that we can see the bottom. And then those drogue shoots opened. Um, those are the last sets of parachutes. These will take us all the way to the bottom. And then this part was very slow. And then my parachute kind of glitched out or below me for some reason, but it still worked. So then you could, I could finally see the bottom or the water, I mean, which was great. So I had a kind of hard landing, but nothing broke. We were all right. So then repacked all those shoots. Kind of looked out there, those volcanoes, those two little orange dots up there. Time warped into day. You can see a nice um, Tidos rise above the horizon right there. And then I set all the external tanks to empty and the internal tank to fill. And we began our descent. This part was very slow. I sped this up to like 20 times speed, I think. Now's a good time to say, if you're not already, you should go follow my TikTok and join my Discord. Both are linked in this video, right under the link to the rocket download. Yeah, this part was very slow for me. I was just kind of checking up on all my stats and then for some reason that parachute just deployed. I don't even know where it came from because all of my parachutes were colored um, black and gray and that one was blue. I don't know where that came from, but then finally I saw the bottom. And this is to put it in perspective how slow it was. This is the speed that I was watching it at. You can barely tell that it is moving down. So I had to speed this up quite a bit. I was falling or sinking for about 45 minutes in real life. Finally, we have contact with the bottom. It went on a little EVA, but it knocked over the rocket. And then I kept floating up, so I had to get back in. And somehow it just randomly stood back up. And I floated up to the surface. This part was faster because sinking, I was going about 0.8 meters a second. Rising, I was going 2 meters a second which doesn't seem like much, but it makes it better. So now we're back at the surface, can deploy solar panels and get some battery back because those lights took up a lot of it. Go on a surface EVA and then I sunk. So I quickly connected a tether and retracted it. Accidentally broke a solar panel somehow on that. Luckily I had a quick save so I could just revert back to that. 
by the way guys all the rockets that i use in my videos i do make myself if i ever use other people's rockets i will credit them i just made a couple quick saves just so my progress doesn't get deleted and then just kind of time warped around and that's what's in the thumbnail right there that pretty cool picture so that's it see you in the next video guys thanks for watching